Hi, welcome to the Jaffa programming tutorial. Um, what we're going to look at um, in this tutorial is the item listener. Now this is the best one for the radio button and the checkboxes because it returns a one and a number one and a number two which we can translate into true or false. So it returns the value that we can use to, to make a decision. So if we're looking at a, a question um, for a student or something like that, and a one is correct answer, and um, we're looking for one for a certain answer to be returned. And if that certain answer is not a one, then we know that the student got it wrong, so we can use it that way. And so the way to do it is we've already implemented action listener and change listener. Now, if I go down to the bottom, well, state change, we showed you that, and we showed you the code inside here will, will be when a state change event is fired, this code will be executed. And that's a method for the change listener. Now, the event listener, the action listener, action performed as a method, and action event is passed to the action performed. And the code within here will be executed when that action event is fired. Now, to implement the item listener, we can just do the same thing again. It's item listener. And what we have to do is right, import. It's not been imported yet, so we import it. And then we'll have to we'll have to right, implement the methods. And so this is unimplemented methods, and that goes to the bottom. So any code that we put inside, and the item listener is item state changed, and it's an item event that's fired. And so the code that we put in here when an item event is fired will be executed here. And so now that we've got, what we'll do is we'll just we'll print out what happens. And so e dot and get state change. So what this is going to do is they're going to return an integer. Now the change is going to be from a 1 to a 2 or to a 2 to a 1 and we can use this to determine if it's been correct, checked or whatever and so and this will print it out to screen for us so and we'll a wee message change is and then we'll do a wee plus a yeah. so and now we need to add this item listener to one of our radio buttons and so if we go to radio button we've added the action listener and change listener to radio 1 radio 2 will add the item listener and it's the exact same way add change listener and it's F because that's what we call the instance of this class which implements it and so that's us added. Um, we've also got the action listener. So when we actually click the radio second radio button, we'll get the add listener to it. Plus we'll get the code that was executed with it. And if we hover over the change listener one, we'll get a message from the first radio button because that's still activated. And so if we save and done the program. Now it's the second radio button, we'll move this over here, so it's the second radio button that has got the code, and so radio, radio 2 correct, uh, radio 1 false, radio 2 false, radio 3 false, and the state has changed, but we've not accepted, we've not, this is because state changed, state has changed.
seem to have added this to the second. I'm going to just check the codes. Let's see. So we've got the change listener. Oh, we added the change listener, not the the item listener. A silly mistake again from me. Sorry about that. Item listener. So you can see that we all make mistakes. And you'll make mistakes as well as you're learning. And so if something goes wrong, just double check your code. That's what it's showing you. And so if I save it now, you'll see what I mean. Hopefully, fingers crossed this time. Hmm. And so if I click the second button, what we've got is the change is one. And what's after one is a change. What's after is to do with the action listener that we've we put in where we correct the radio to correct and we gave all the the, the values of radio one, radio two and radio three. If I click it again, if I click if I click a different one, then the state of Scott not cool is going to change. And you can see it's changed, even though we clicked another button. Um, Scott not cool went from being correct to unclicked. So it was selected and not selected, and that change w became a one. So if we click again, then it's a one. One for click. And I'm clicking it again, but we're not getting anything. We're not getting that one because it's already a one. It's not changed. It only will show you when it's changed. So we click outside that, it's changed to two, and one when we click it. So what that means is that we can use that one value and the two value to determine if the student has um, clicked the correct answer or not, or for whatever we're going to use it for. And so that's, that's um, item listeners. And so you can use it for many different things, you can use item listeners um, for like many different things, I'm not going to go into it, but you know, obviously you can do check boxes and all the rest of it. So that's another listener. So I hope that's been useful. Um, and thank you, thank you for your time.